in the figure, LQ is a tangent to the circle KLM. And then if you check, like I usually say to learners, if you check this thing here, KLM, these things that are giving you, they are giving you points at the circumference. Eh? Now you should check which these points at the circumference, can you connect them? Why are you checking which can you connect this point at the circumference? You want to check which can it form a cyclic quadrilateral because they don't tell us if they have a cyclic quad. Let us need to see which they have a cyclic quad. Sometimes they tell you, Mara, more often than not, they don't tell you which there's a cyclic quad. So if you check K and then you check L, you check M, you check N, all these things can, you can connect them. Can you see that? And all of them, they're at a circumference. For the fact that they're at a circumference, all of them, they are a cyclic quad literal of the circle. So you should always check for that, especially if they gave you points at a circumference which are more than three. As soon as you have more than three points at the circumference, check if you can connect all of them, all the lines. If all of them, they are connected, then it means which is a cyclic quad literal. And then you are told which KN is equal to NM. So this chord, this is a chord, by the way. This is called NM, and then this is called KN. These two chords are equal. And then they say which we have K1, which is 48. We have M1, which is 25. And then they say which is determined with reasons. Now, there's a key word here, tangent. Okay? Now, what do you understand by tangent? A tangent, you can look for an angle between a tangent and a chord. Okay? What is the angle between a tangent and a chord here? It's L2, no? Now we are going to check an angle which is subtended by the chord KL. Is there any angle subtended by chord KM? Oh, LM, LM. Which angle is that? It's K1. So it means these two angles are going to be equal. If this one is 48, we expect this one to be what to be? 48 degrees, okay? Now we can go to our multiple choice questions then. On our multiple choice questions, they say first, L2 is equal to K1. L2 is equal to, which is equal to 48, okay? Then they say, what could be the reason behind that? Number one, Tancot theorem, tangent perpendicular to a radius, angles on a straight line, or it's because the angles are alternating. Which one best suits this situation? Huh? It's number A, then we'll tell them, which, remember, I didn't say write A, I said you write the accepted reason, okay? So you're going to write it as the tan, so that you get used to writing accepted reason, court. Let's go to number 5.2. K2. That's K2 again. It's equal to M1. K2 is equal to M1. They say which this one is also equal to 25. And then they say, what could be the reason behind that? Number one, can it be angles in the same segment? When do you have angles in the same segment? You should ask yourself that question. When do you have angles in the same segment? Angles in the same segment are angles that are subtended by the same chord or the same arc. No? They need to be on the same side of the chord, and then they also need to be subtended by the same chord, or they need to be subtended by the same arc. So it can be angles in the same segment, this one. This one and this one, because if you look at what is creating, what is creating K, what is creating K2? K2 is created by an M. What is what is subtending M1? It's Kn. So we can't speak of angles in the same segment. Same segment, they need to have the same chord. They need to be on the same side of the chord. Agree, you see your chord, what, what your chord does is this. If I take chord NM, for example, chord NM is going to give us this minor segment. And then it's also going to give us this other one, which is the major segment. If you come and shade here, then you're going to have this bigger side. After the chord, you have the bigger segment. So for us to say which angles are in the same segment, they are from the same chord, and then they're on the same side of the chord. So same segment cannot work. Let's move on to the next one. Side opposite equal angles. Can we say this one? Now, when do we say this one? This one, we say it if Elena is saying this angle is equal to this angle. Therefore, this side is going to be equal to this side. If this side is equal to this side, they will ask you, why are you saying this side is going to be equal to this side? You say which side opposite equal angles. Sides that are opposite equal angles are equal. I think we remember what we have. We do have if the two sides are equal. If this side is equal to this side, then we can conclude which this angle is going to be equal to this angle. Again, what do we call that one? We call it angles opposite equal side. 
No, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. On number one, Basetan. On number one. The angles are the ones which are equal. The opposite angles are equal. If this angle is equal to this angle, let's say this is X, and then I also tell you what this one is X. And then I tell you which A, this is B, this is C. Right? At the letter, you can come and say, man, I say it's simple. A, B is going to be equal to A, C. And I, when I ask you, why are you saying A, B is going to be equal to A, C? I think this one will say C. Right? The reason why you are saying A, B is going to be equal to A, C is because the side opposite equal angles. The side are opposite equal angles. It's because the side are opposite equal angles. So this one is going to be equal to this one. And then the reason is because we have side opposite equal angles. Are we fine then? What is number two then? Well, number two, that's not the situation. But well, number two is this. The sides are equal. So if I give you something like this again. This is A. This is B. This is C. And I say to you, this one is equal to this one. Already you are given which AP is equal to AC. Right? Then what are you going to say here? You're going to say angles opposite equal sides. The angles are opposite equal sides. Then therefore it means which this one and this one they are going to be equal. B is going to be equal to what to, to C. Make the mistake of thinking which is the same thing is not. Now, if that one is not the reason, then what will be the appropriate reason here? Five point two. It's number C, okay? Why number C? It's because we have equal chords, equal angles. Yeah, we have equal chords, equal angles. All right, we are not done. 5.3. They say we have N1. You see N1, again. Okay? This is N1. They say N1 is equal to M1 plus K2. Let's come and check. They say what this angle here is equal to this one plus this one. What could be the reason behind it? Number one, can it be converse of exterior angle of a cyclic quad? It can be. Okay? Number two, can it be an exterior angle of a cyclic quad literal? Can it be an exterior angle of a triangle? Yeah, remember, what does the theorem say? It says which an exterior angle of a triangle, if you take this triangle here, an exterior angle of a triangle is going to be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles of a, what, of a, of a triangle. So the correct answer for number 5.3 is going to be number one, number C. Okay, moving on. 5.4. N1, let's come and check N1. They say we have N1. This is N1 again. They say N1 is equal to 50, which is going to be equal to this one here, which is L1. And then they're asking us, which what could be the reason behind that? Let's go through some of the reasons. They're saying which is because we have a converse of exterior angle. We have an exterior angle of a cyclic quad. We have an exterior angle of a triangle. We have Tancourt theorem. Which one best suit? The reason why L1 is equal to N1. Number B. Ne? Yeah, it can't be a chunk of theorem because this one is not a tangent. Right? So the best one that suits this situation is because we have an exterior angle of a what? Of a, of a cyclic part. Last but not least, 5.5. This is 50. Okay? They say, which is this one here? It's 108. And then Based on the reasons that were given here, remember, they could say well, this is 130 because these are angles on a straight line. Do you have angles on a straight line here? You don't have angles on a straight line. But guess what you have? You have converse, you have exterior angle, you have opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So which one best suit this situation? It's number C again. Why number C? is because we have what? Opposite angles of a what? Of a cyclic quad. Thank you.